guys gaming wally here today i'm going to talk a little bit about the lightning tank and i'm going to give you some tips and tricks and how to use it um, look at here is my account name and my server so if you want to play with me just ask me when you see me online um, i will definitely join you if i'm not in a squad because i do like playing lone wolf um, so most of the time i will be alone um, but yeah, I do like to play in a squad, so just ask me if you see me on. I also showed you the login screen just to show you my account and which um, camos I use because sometimes camos can be useful in this game. Um, this one camo I'm now using is uh, actually pretty good on every map. Maybe not as in it because it's a snowy map, so there it's a little bit yeah not so good but um, the rest of the map is pretty okay it's um, brown uh, a little bit green so Amrish and Tindar it's actually pretty good but today the lightning tank the lightning tank is actually pretty bad with the regular cannon so I suggest um, if you have a uh, station cast just buy some other cannon um, the sky guard is pretty good but not good against uh, infantry and vehicles so um, I suggest buying the high explosive one and that's what I'm going to talk about right now if you play a lot of plants I do you'll know that most base fights are actually infantry battles um, those battles are most of the time interrupted by um, vehicle columns like a lot of enemy tanks like the prowler or the mech rider or the um, what's it called? Um, yeah, BNC um, tank. Um, but yeah, then the team that doesn't have armor is directly blow on, blown out, and pushed back into their territory. And most of the time, the other team is going to cap your closest base next to it. So yeah you really want to avoid those infantry battles and use something to push through those infantry battles and the best thing to use is actually the high explosive cannon on your regular tank or on the lightning but i suggest um, just using the lightning tank because the lightning tank is far more uh, quicker than the normal tank and um, it's less armor and it's less expensive so um, Really in the beginning of the game, I suggest um, buying the high explosive um, turret uh, on the lightning tank, it's going to wreck up the search certainly, I suggest just do that. As you can see, I'm using the infrared night vision on my turret, um, it's not so long range, uh, but you can really see where the enemies are and um, with this gun you don't have to be accurate so um, it's uh, really well deep and um, also the explosion without the infrared scope you can see where the enemy is heading if you not direct hit him um, but without it you can uh, see where he's heading and uh, you can see through the explosion so I suggest by that um, yeah you can really see um, where it can make a difference, it push ba pushes back um, the enemy. Um, this is footage from a 90 kill streak. So um, when I went here, our team was maybe 20 minutes already pushing this place. And uh, when I came, we actually um, are going to cap this, and in the end, um, I will have to defend it uh, also at one time. As for the upgrades you have to buy for your lightning tank, I suggest uh, for the uh, weapon itself, the infrared scope, I don't know um, if the thermal scope is actually better, I don't know that I have to buy it myself, um, but that for the defensive slot I should suggest um, the side armor, just because um, that's the place where you're going to hit most of the time and uh, the rear is vulnerable but you can't actually buy it so yeah it's not an option uh, the front I almost never hit at the front so not do that and um, then you have the air uh, for the top armor and 
but um, the air isn't just a threat where you want to use it. You want to use it in um, very intense um, base fights, and most of the time, um, air isn't um, going to be um, much of a factor in those um, tech plant fight or amp station. And the bio lab yeah, is, is not critical, so you can't use it. Um, and so not in the bio lab. As for the performance shot, the slot is a, sm a little bit um, tricky to say, but I suggest to use the racing. Um, al almost none um, said you have to use the racing, but I say do, because you don't need uh, maneuverability, you need speed to get out if there is going to come a tank or something with an anti armor thing or something, you have to go. Uh, away as quickly as possible and uh, you don't have to maneuver so you can avoid it you know just racer you have to do that. as for the utility slot um the ir spoke uh, because um people are starting to uh, lock the lock unlock the lock uh, weapons so yeah that's the things uh, where i get most of the time shot with so use the IR smoke it's pretty good um, it they almost almost every time miss um, if you use it even with just a dump fire because um, there's a smoke screen so I suggest use that one okay guys that's going to wrap up my first um, have a quick tip on this channel um, I hope you enjoyed it and um, please leave a rating and uh, subscribe if you liked it um, if you have followed the video very well, you have seen probably that um, this was a 90 kill streak. This some footage is not all of it because some parts were really boring. But you have seen um, I have put some thunders um, with some multi kills of eight people. There is one in this video. Um, and if you have was really careful, you have seen that I started um, the video with um, I think 18 third points. And at the end of the video. I had um, almost 90, to, and it was footage from uh, 30 minutes in total. So you, you have seen what you can do with the high explosive you're going to land very, very quickly. Bye bye, guys.